So welcome back to physics online class. So today we will start that first PU second track chapters thermal properties of matter. In that thermal properties of matter most of the time questions will appear from that thermal properties of a matter topic. Right. So in case of that thermal properties of matter first thing we must know about that conversion of temperature from that one scale to other scale. So in case of thermal properties of matter properties of matter in this chapter so we will understand about that heat and effects of heat right so before going to understand the concept of heat and effect of heat let me begins with the basic aspect like temperature so temperature means which measures the degree of hotness or coldness of a body right in order to measure the temperature we are having different scales here what are those scales mainly we can consider celsius scale we can take fahrenheit scale and kelvin scale we can consider look at here different scales of temperature different scales of temperature right so first we can consider celsius scale So in case of that Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale and Kelvin scale, so are having two reference point. One is lower fixed point, another one is upper fixed point or ice point and boiling point we can consider, steam point we can take. Lower fixed point, lower fixed point value is 0 degree Celsius at Celsius scale and upper fixed point is 100 degree Celsius. So from that upper to lower fixed point there are 100 divisions are present right next one is Fahrenheit scale okay. right in case of Fahrenheit scale lower fixed point is 32 Fahrenheit degree and upper fixed point is 212 Fahrenheit degree from that upper to lower fixed point there are so 212 minus of 32 180 divisions are present right and next one is Kelvin scale right in case of that Kelvin scale again I will choose lower fixed point value and upper fixed point value so lower fixed point value is 273.15 kelvin and upper fixed point is 373.15 kelvin here right again difference value is 100 division now in order to convert this temperature from that one scale to another scale we are having general formula so look at here general formula to convert general formula to convert to convert the temperature to convert the temperature from one scale to other scale one scale to other scale while converting the temperature from that one scale to another scale so from the generalized formula x minus of lower fixed point divided by upper fixed point minus of lower fixed point so this value is constant for all the scales we can consider so look at here what is the generalized formula here so x minus of lower fixed point divided by upper fixed point minus of lower fixed point which is equal to constant for all the scale. For example, for the Celsius scale, instead of x I can consider as c. I want to convert that Celsius scale to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius scale. Instead of x I can consider as c. Lower fixed point for Celsius scale is 0. Upper fixed point for Celsius scale is 100. 
again lower fixed point is 0 which is equal to constant for Fahrenheit scale also instead of x for Fahrenheit f I can write lower fixed point for Fahrenheit scale is 32 Fahrenheit degree and upper fixed point is 212 minus of lower fixed point is 32 Fahrenheit degree so C by 100 which is equal to F minus of 32 divided by 180 or in other way so after simplifying you will get that C by 5 which is equal to F minus of 32 divided by 9 if you know C value we can convert in terms of Fahrenheit or otherwise if we know that Fahrenheit value Fahrenheit scale value we can convert into Celsius scale so this is the way to convert the temperature from one scale to another scale just remember this uh, generalized formula so according to the question we can able to convert that temperature from one scale to another scale for example in order to convert the temperature from Celsius to Kelvin or Kelvin to Celsius again x means in case of celsius c minus of 0 100 minus of 0 which is equal to constant for kelvin scale also instead of x i can consider k 273.15 divided by 373.15 minus of 273.15 right c by 100 which is equal to k minus of 273.15 373.15 minus of 273.15 so finally we can take that c which is equal to k minus of 273.15 so this is the generalized formula to convert the temperature from celsius to kelvin or kelvin to celsius here right for example for measuring the temperature we need that thermometric properties what are the thermometric property here for example in order to measure the temperature we need that thermometric properties like length of the wire resistance of the wire or volume of the gas so these are all the thermometric property on the basis of these thermometric property we can able to measure the temperature of any body so look at here thermometric properties like like length resistance of the wire length of the wire resistance of the wire and volume of the gas so these are all thermometric property right by taking use of these thermometric property these thermometric properties like length resistance and volume directly proportional to temperature then in order to measure the temperature so i can use that concept of length resistance of the wire and as well as volume of the gas in case of measuring the temperature we need that thermometers so first we can consider that liquid column thermometer liquid column thermometer right so in case of liquid column thermometer so as i know that thermometric properties like length of the object or length of the liquid you can consider it is directly proportional to temperature from this concept I will take one tube here a narrow tube so at the bottom I collect some mercury sample right if this thermometer is placed in hot water bath then what happens here so this thermometer absorbs the heat this thermometer is dry it means this mercury is try to rise in a upward direction right so then for example initially i will consider length of this liquid column at zero degree celsius temperature l naught means length of liquid column at 
0 degree Celsius at 0 degree Celsius so what will be the length we can consider in the similar way length of the liquid column at 100 degree Celsius length of liquid column at 100 degree Celsius and one more thing I want to find out that so look at here we got the two reference point what will be the length of this mercury at 0 degree Celsius and what will be its length at 100 degree Celsius two reference point I got now if I place this thermometer in a hot water bath this mercury is rises up for a certain length right so that length will be L of t we can consider now my interest is to find out for this length this length is equal to how much temperature i need to find out l of t means length of mercury column at t degree celsius so l of t means length of mercury column at t degree celsius here right so by taking use of these thing so we'll have direct formula temperature of the liquid column so in order to measure the temperature so in case of liquid column thermometer l of t length of the liquid column at t degree celsius minus of l naught divided by l of 100 minus of l naught into 100 this is the formula for liquid column thermometer so next we can consider that resistance thermometer resistance thermometer in case of that resistance thermometer so again that thermometric property is like resistance this resistance is directly proportional to temperature i shall use the concept of resistance in order to measure the temperature first i will take that reference point resistance of the wire at zero degree celsius resistance at 0 degree Celsius and resistance at 100 degree Celsius I know that two reference point for example <coughs> so that wire showing certain kind of resistance right so this resistance which is equal to how much temperature I need to find out R of T means resistance at t degree celsius generalized formula t which is equal to r of t minus of r naught divided by r of 100 minus of r naught into 100 right so this is about resistance thermometer and one more thing i said in case of the thermometric properties like volume of the gas is also proportional to temperature so now we are having that constant volume gas thermometer and constant pressure gas thermometer so in order to measure the temperature so we can consider that wait a minute constant volume gas thermometer so in case of that constant volume gas so volume is constant so at a constant volume so pressure of the gas is directly proportional to temperature so look at here p naught be the pressure at 0 degree celsius P of 100 is pressure at 100 degree Celsius. P of T means pressure at T degree Celsius. So, at what temperature? P of T minus of P naught divided by P of 100 minus of P naught into 100. So, this is the connecting formula. And one more thing is constant pressure gas thermometer constant pressure gas thermometer 
so on the basis of this conversion of temperature from one scale to another scale so related to this thing so most of the time we are having questions on these concept so generalized formula volume at 0 degree celsius volume at 100 degree celsius and volume at t degree celsius right t which is equal to v of t minus of v naught divided by v of 100 minus of v naught into 100 so these are all the connecting formulas 